Landon Winner in his article uh, argued that there are two ways of being political. Uh, first is first are in instances in which the invention, design, or arrangement of a specific technical device or system becomes a way of settling an issue in the affairs of a particular technology community. I'm sorry. And second are cases of what can be called inherently political technologies which is man-made systems that appear to require or to be strongly compatible with particular kind of political relationship. In the first place, the technologies are simply used in such a way that they have a political result. In general, there is nothing about, about this technology that would imply they are political in every circumstance in which they appear. In second case, the technologies are always political or at least normally associated with specific political contents. Let's see the first example. This is from Langdon Wiener, right? So there is a place in the United States on the eastern coast uh, called, called Long Island. And Langdon Wiener tells us that on a particular highway or parkway, as it is called, one will find very low overpasses with bridges that go over the highway. These overpasses are about nine feet in height or just under three meters. There are about 200 of these low bridges which are so low that buses are, un are, are, are unable to pass underneath them. This is the, the look at that Long Island ex Expressway. And, and then the, the question is, why would anyone design a bridge that is so low? Well, we might not think much about it, except that tall vehicles are unable to use the highway. But if we look into the history of these low bridges, we find that that was exactly what the designer intended. The master builder of the roads and bridges in Long Island is Robert Moses. Uh, that's him uh, on the left side, who was powerful from the 1970s to 1970s. Meditate way. Why? Why? Why do this? It appears that he was trying to systematically exclude a certain group of people, namely those who had to ride the bus. At this time the roads were built, were being built, the buses carried primarily poor people, those who could not afford automobiles. It seems that he was not he, w he discriminated against buses, right? So it was not so much about his being racist to certain people. But then again, here, most of these poor people who rode buses were black. So by designing such low bridges, Robert Moses systematically exclude people, exclude black people from using the park and beaches available to the middle and upper class perso persons who own class. There is nothing about bridges that makes them automatically political, but within certain contexts and use in certain way, these bridges embodied political characteristic. To use them, require that you be a part of certain group in society, a car owner. And while the bridge designer is long since dead, his bridges, his, his political vision have remained embodied within the bridges. And here is another example. Much of modern day Paris was designed by 
Baron Haussmann under Louis Napoleon. So he created very wide streets, which today we think are great because you could put a lot of cars up them and they look beautiful. But they were designed long before there were cars. Isn't it weird, right? Why, why build such wide streets? They were actually designed that way so as to prevent the city inhabitants from taking control of the city. So in 1848, a wave of revolution spread across Europe and in Paris, people took control briefly by blockading the narrow Parisian streets. It was difficult for soldiers to move through the city. You might think about how difficult it is for police in Hong Kong to respond to problems in crowded areas where the streets or hall hallways are very small, right? It makes the police very nervous because it gives a tactical advantage to criminal. With the wide streets, the government would be able would be better able to control the resident. So there's two examples uh, give you the point that sometimes when we look at technolog technological artifacts in the world, we might not understand the circumstances behind their reasons. design. Technologies might well very might very well be political, but we just assume the technologies are performing their stated function. The highways in Long Island transport cars, the wide streets in Paris are beautiful modes of transportation. In fact, these technologies have a political context built into them. But how about this artifact? Can it be political? What if this is just a bench, an innocent bench, right? Yes, it can be political if, look at that, uh, it's different, started to be different. How about this? I'll just show you here, right? The center armrest, when you put the center armrest on the chair, the chair become a different artifact. So this is the ad of Belson Outdoor, Recycle Plastic Jordan Bands. So it say that it is redesigned to face contemporary urban realities. These bands come standard with a center arm to discourage overnight stays in its comfortable embrace. Sounds beautiful, but in a sense, basically, if I put it in, in a very rough, low people words, hey, the design, this, this chair is designed to, to, to stay away, to, for, for homeless people to stay away from the bands, right? Because if there is a there is no center arm, it's so easy to lay down and on the bench. Look at this. All right, of course you could lie down, but it's kind of hurting, right? Speak of it's only some people who are crazy might might try to sleep uh, on on the bench with center arms. And here is in Washington D.C. because. Even with such arm, the the homeless still sleep uh, on the bench, and the the cops just took took the bench away, so nobody could sleep on there. So see, once you put your center arm on the bench, it has become political you exclude some people from using it and it gives you more power to control who could sit down on the bench. From the three cases, what have we learned? We learned that technology reflects a particular political situation or political design. And 
the change in power relationship or access or membership was or is intended. How about the unintended one? It is possible. Yes, it is possible. <laughs>